Thank you very much for your time, sir. Can you tell us about the Nigerian Civil Society Situation Room and the work you do? Uh, the Civil Society Situation Room is um, a platform of civil society organizations working on governance issues. We work on observing elections, uh, accountability issues, and um, here in Ocean State, we are observing the elections, uh, which would hold on September uh, 22nd deploying observers, receiving reports from observers in the field, analyzing the reports, um, following up with the stakeholders, uh, especially the Electoral Commission and security agencies, uh, to escalate issues that we find important for it to be resolved ahead of uh, as the election progresses. So we'll keep an eye on the elections. We'll report on the conduct of elections, the process of the conduct of elections as well, and uh, issue reports on it. The Austrian governorship elections, what have you seen so far? Any concerns and uh, any improvements from AKT? It's too early to say. Uh, we have uh, seen election materials, sensitive election materials being deployed 48 hours ahead of elections. Um, this was not the case in previous off-cycle elections or even any elections at all. We are studying the implications of that uh, with respect especially to the protection of the sensitive materials uh, given the time lag for its actual use. Um, we have met with the police to discuss uh, their plans and how they have deployed uh, police personnel. They have indicated a preparedness. We have to see uh, as we go to vote uh, or as the people go to vote, um, the efficiency of what they have done. Uh, overall, the state has been calm and peaceful, and um, we expect it to remain so, but we will keep an eye on the elections with a view to reporting on what we see. It's 19 years of uninterrupted democratic experience, and we've seen when we have off-cycle elections, we see a huge deployment of security operatives, even though we're not, it's a civil exercise, it's elections. Is this a source of concern? And um, that election after election, we see a huge, is it, does it mean Nigerians can't conduct themselves in a peaceful and civil manner? Does the huge deployment of security operatives uh, worry you? Is it a source of concern? The huge deployment of resources for elections in Nigeria is a major concern. Uh, I think the elections in this country are very expensive. Uh, the cost of it, of course, goes to the point you make about the massive numbers of police personnel that you put out for elections. Uh, but this has to be taken in the context of the fact that elections are very expensive in this country. They should not be so. Uh, the amount of resources we devote to printing so-called sensitive materials, uh, sometimes even of currency value, uh, the huge numbers that the police announce all the time they deploy for the elections. Uh, sometimes this, is, this deployment actually escalates the fear and violence uh, that may even be absent if you have less numbers deployed. So these are issues of concern. I think this country needs to work towards less expensive elections and uh, we need to study how we can achieve this uh, and get it right. Now in the aftermath of the AKT elections, uh, a lot of observers said there were incidents of vote buying and INEC has been trying to be proactive. Uh, they've actually gone ahead to announce that uh, mobile phones won't be allowed in the polling uh, booth while people are voting so as to uh, reduce incidents of um, see and buy. Um, do you think this is enough and what other steps has civil society taken to uh, reduce incidents of vote buying? We think it's important that INEC has said to people in the one minute or so that you are in the uh, uh, cubicle to vote. You shouldn't go in with your uh, phones. Um, uh, this is important and every, th every step that needs to be taken to get people to respect the sanctity of the electoral process is, is quite welcome. But we also know that um, transparency of the electoral process is important and people need to be able to capture what is going on. Uh, observers, citizens who are actually going to polling units should be free to record what is going on in the vicinity of the polling area, of course respecting the guidelines set by INEC that prohibits 
going into the polling cubicle to, to snap pictures of the ballot papers indicating how people vote. Uh, yes, it will reduce uh, ballot um, um, purchase, uh, but what is most effective, what is most efficient would be that people who commit electoral offenses, whether it is the so-called uh, buy and see or any other electoral infraction, should be apprehended, should be charged to court. That's what is more sustainable. That is what will provide the deterrence that is needed to get people to respect electoral values. Finally, Mr. Clement Wanko, how important is the conduct, the overall conduct of the Oshu uh, governorship elections as we inch towards the 2019 elections? Uh, would it be a window into how we expect elections to be conducted next year? Well, anything that hasn't been put in place now would be a question, how much more time do you have to? We have just uh, uh, about four months to the general elections um, in, uh, in 2019. So for all of the stakeholders, the Electoral Commission, you know, whatever you have, show it now. Uh, for the security services, whatever you have, show it now. That would give us an indication of your preparations for the uh, elections in 2019. So. This would be an election closely observed um, by civil society, by election observers, uh, uh, Nigerian and international, and we expect um, all of the stakeholders to, to put their best foot forward uh, because that guides us into understanding the level of preparedness by all the stakeholders for the general elections in 2019. Thank you very much, sir. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you.